In SPSS, weighting cases allows us to assign importance or weight to the cases in the data set. This can be useful when the data is in the form of counts of factors or events, the weight represents the number of occurrences, or when the data requires adjustments to correct for over, or under representation of certain characteristics in the research sample. This video will show you how to weight cases in SPSS. To turn on case weights, click data on the menu, then click weight cases. To enable a weighting variable, click weight cases by, then double click the name of the target variable in the left hand column, to move it to the frequency variable field. Then click OK. To turn off an enabled weighting variable, open weight cases window again, and click do not weight cases. Then click OK. For example, suppose you are helping a friend with their statistics homework, and see that they have included the following write-up in their report. You immediately notice several things wrong with this report so far. You can never prove anything with a hypothesis test, not even if the p-value is really, really small. You do not see any test statistics anywhere, and it is unclear what test he has run. You get the feeling that, they may have used the chi-square test of independence, but want to verify this for yourself. Let's solve this problem. Whenever you want to recreate a frequency table, or cross-stab, you first need to figure out, how many unique combinations, of the factors there are, and how many observations, there were for each factor combination. In this situation, we have two variables, class rank, which has three levels, and picked a major, which has two levels. So, there are three multiplying by two, equal to six unique factor combinations. When we go to enter the data in SPSS, we will need to create three new variables, including class rank, picked a major, and a frequency variable. Now we need to weight the cases with respect to frequency variable. To do this, click data on the menu, then click weight cases. In the weight cases window, select weight cases by, then double click the frequency variable to move it to the frequency variable field. And click OK. Now we can run our cross stab and verify your friend's results. To do this, click analyze on the menu, then click descriptive statistics cross stabs. When the cross stabs window opens, select the variable class rank in the left column, and move it to the row field by using the first arrow button, then select variable picked a major in the left column, and transfer it to the column field by using the second arrow button. To produce a chi-square test of independence, click statistics. This will open the cross stab statistics window. Now select the chi-square checkbox in the upper left hand corner, then click continue. Finally, click OK to run the cross stab. As result, the cross table matches the friend's output. From the chi-square tests table, we see that, this test was significant at the 95% confidence level, with p-value smaller than 0.001. From this result, we infer that, there is a significant association between a student's class rank, and whether or not they have picked a major. We finish here the video. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel, also, don't hesitate to leave your comments, these will inspire us to create more videos. See you soon in the next videos.